time for CBS 19 Sports from the Monsoor Law Firm Sports Desk. Hey, good evening. I'm Ashley Moore, and thanks so much for joining us in sports. Well, it's a big day across our country tonight, and especially for those who love sports. Today is early National Signing Day, so we're going to start off the day at Tyler Legacy with a few highly touted recruits putting pen to paper. Jamarian Miller, Bryson Donnell, and Aaron Sears signing national letters of intent to play at the Division I level. After this past season, Miller became the number one rusher and scorer in school history. Now, he originally committed to Texas, but recently switched and is now attending Alabama. Now Sears, a three-year varsity starter, signed his letter of intent to play at Stephen F. Austin. And lastly, Donnell became the sixth rusher and fourth scorer in school history. He'll be taking his talents to Texas Tech. Well, over at Tyler High, a packed house in the school's auditorium for a soccer stud in Kendall Howard who was officially committed to Detroit Mercy. Now, Howard has been a varsity starter since his sophomore season, where he was named All-State Defender. Not only that, but the Southeast All-American was named captain for his junior and senior seasons. But on top of that, Howard was the reigning defensive player of the year these last two seasons. So when asked why he chose to play Division One soccer all the way over there in Detroit, here's what he had to say. With the school, you know, they have a great medical program, and I'm looking to further my... Um, associate's degree that I'll be obtaining and in the medical field and pre-med and so I will try and build off of that. Don't you just love it when a player talks about their education? Shout out to him. Howard plans to study pre-medical biochemistry. Just sounds hard just saying it. And we wish him the best of luck on the field and in the classroom. Now over to Gilmer High School, where two athletes participating in the 2021 state finals signed their national letters of intent. Quarterback Brandon Tennyson is taking his talents to UTSA under Jeff Trailer, while Jay Rockwell signs to the University of Sam Houston. Both of these players played tremendous roles and had major impacts on the Gilmer Bulldogs and are excited to take their talents to the collegiate level and signing day isn't just for high school athletes junior college players need love too and that's exactly what happened over at Wagstaff Gymnasium at Tyler Junior College Kobe Savage is going to Kansas State Matt Mitchell headed to Henderson State University Nick Rampert to Tulsa and Xavier Benson going to Oklahoma State now we caught up with Benson and asked why he chose the Big 12 school and here's what he had to say because it gave me a home feel, and I wanted a place of growth for me and my family, people around me. I wanted to just reach new highs, and I feel like I can do that at Columbus State. Oh, but last but not least, to the school that showed up and showed out, White House High School, home to the legendary Patrick Mahomes, but also home to five athletes from five different teams headed to five separate colleges to take their games to the next level. Come on, guys. Let's give them a round of applause. There it is, the largest signing class in East Texas today. Cole Eichner, Susanna Moran, Alyssa Navarro, Kylie Freeman and Easton Mayo signing letters of intent in basketball, golf, baseball, and soccer. Now, when asked about what this day means to them, each athlete gave a personal response. I'm overwhelmed with joy right now. It's so awesome to see everyone here just supporting all of us and everything that we've done. We've worked so hard to get here and it's just, it's amazing. Yeah, it's a really great feeling uh, knowing something I've worked hard for my whole life is uh, paying off and then I'll get to continue my basketball career. Um, Southwestern's a really great school and I'm just really looking forward to getting there and uh, putting in the work and winning some basketball games, most of all. There's been times where it's really hard and, you know, the sacrifice that we have to, you know, we have to keep going, we have to work harder because, I mean, not everyone in the gym wants to play college, you know, but it's like you have to know, like, like it takes a lot more than just doing what everyone else is doing to to be that level, you know, so you really have to push yourself and, like, have people behind you pushing you and helping make you better. Uh, you don't really think back to it when you're playing or working out or anything like that, but see myself grow and get to where I have gotten to and to grow even more from here on, it, it means a lot. I just like we've been working so hard and like everything we've done has been able to discipline me to get there. Like 5.30 morning practice, be there. If you're not there, you're running. If you forget something, you're running. It's always something punishment, but it's just to prepare you for the next level and it's just been something I've like appreciated so much. So many great athletes doing what every coach dreams of, taking their games to the next level and some getting free school to do so. So we're sending them a major congratulations. That's all I have for sports. Sade, back to you at the desk. All right. Thank you, Ash.